This is the second example of how to use the stow button on your calculator, which becomes important in the 30 plus range on math. Example two in the calculator guide under stow says, for all real numbers x and the imaginary number i, which of the following expressions is equivalent to x minus 2i cubed? Now, for the sake of argument, let's decide to store x as 3. So we type in 3, then hit the stow button, and then hit x. Then we can simply type in the actual equation. So in this case, x minus 2i second decimal for i, and then cubed. Now, as you know, if you had to do the expansion of that, it would take a long time, and the chance of a flip negative sign would be very high. It would take almost half a page to write it out. Instead, if you look at the problem in the book, we can first do all the terms that do not have an i component. So in this case, you'll notice the two, we start with a. We have x cubed, and then we have negative 12x. So we can type in the two non-i components. And what do you know? We get negative 9. That means we can cross off any of the answers, C and D and E, that do not have x cubed minus 12x. So we're already down to A and B off the bat. Now let's look at the non-real terms, the imaginary number terms. We can type in the coefficients, negative 6x squared, and the other term is going to be plus 8. And there we have it, negative 46. So Typing in two quick things would do what would otherwise take half a page of expansion of terms and save a lot of time.